Hi! In this short video, we will create a simple authentication method using Firebase. To start, head over to the authentication settings and create a new external method. Click on Add External at the bottom of the right side panel and select Firebase from the list. Here you will be able to change the name and appearance and set everything up. Let's rename this just to be Firebase and I'm going to keep the default icon. In this dropdown, you need to select a team to which the user will be assigned to. And the last field is Web API Key from the Firebase. At the Firebase Project Overview, click on the cogwheel and go to Project Settings. Just copy your Web API key and paste it back into the Jet Admin. Click Save, and that's pretty much it. To test whether everything is working correctly, let's create a test user and try to sign in into the Jet Admin app. At Firebase, head over to Authentication tab and create a new user. For the email, let's use something like test jetadmin.io and any simple password will do. Now open up the sign in page in a different browser. Click on the sign in with Firebase button and test it out with the newly created credentials. And here's the password, and then click on log in. And it looks like everything works. Now, let's close this and double check that the user got properly created in the Jet Admin database. And it looks like everything's all right. You can also head over back to the Firebase and refresh the page to see that the user was logged on. Here's the appropriate date for signed in. Let me show you just one more thing. We actually store the user token that we got from the Firebase, so you can use it later. You can use that token in the REST API resources. Let me just create one. You can use it to create a user-centric collections or to perform actions. You can use it for things like getting the details on user permissions from Firebase to use them as a filtering option in the Gen Admin later on. You can pass the value of the token to the headers, query params, or the body of the query. And that's it for today. Subscribe, leave a comment, and see you in the next video.